Do you regret the Downing Street parties, Mr Johnson? But now today, you're saying you're not sure whether it was discussed with them and you're surprised that it wasn't. Is that the uh, I, position? I, the reason I said that in my statement is because I frankly assumed that it must have been discussed uh, with them. And I, I'm perplexed as to how something as significant as that can have got through. I mean, it was, there, was, there, was, there must have been several meetings of it, COVID-S and COVID-O, which it was... Discuss, that word properly is your word, Mr Johnson, not, not the inquiries. Well, that's, that's indeed my memory. And I, I, I remember the scheme coming up several times. Um, and that's why, I was, as, I, as I've told you, I was surprised when later I heard that um, Chris was calling it Eat Out to Help, Eat Out to help the Virus mm. and, and, and taken aback. And I, I, I will, I, I, if you want, I, I haven't talked about this before uh, in, in public, uh, but, and it goes to, the, to what, what, what you were saying earlier about about elderly people and my, uh, what you claim, we claim is my, my indifference to the, to the pandemic. I just want to remind you that I, I, when, when I went into IT, uh, to in, intensive care, I, I saw uh, around me a, um, a lot of people uh, who, were, who were not actually elderly. Um, and they're, and they're, in fact, they were middle-aged men, um, and they were, they were quite like me. And some of us were going to make it and some of us weren't. And... What I'm trying to tell you, in a nutshell, and the NHS, thank God, did an amazing job and, and, and helped me survive. Um, but I knew from that experience what an appalling disease this is. I had absolutely no personal doubt about that from March onwards. Uh, to say that I didn't care about the, the suffering that was being inflicted on the country is simply uh, not right. An earlier witness told us that you have some difficulty with graphs, so I, uh, whether that's right or not, uh, don't worry, I'm going to actually point out the points that I want to raise with you. What but I, I was want to making, which I stand by, is that the UK, the, the tables I've seen, actually comes about halfway down. And it's not just this table, it's the... Um, uh, there's an, uh, I think there was an, a Lancet study as well. I think the former health secretary alludes to it in, in his evidence. This is not in any way to diminish the pain and the suffering of people who lost family members during COVID. It I understand that. It is that. simply to point out, it is simply to, to, to mount, uh, it is to reflect the enormous effort made by the whole of the UK uh, to protect the NHS and save lives. Can we stick and, to the question? And, and I believe that they, it did. Can we stick to the question? You've raised this in your statement. You made a sweeping assertion that the UK defied the more glo gloomy predictions. I'm putting to you some cold steel of evidence. Uh, and that's, that's what I'm trying to do here. Well, I don't, but I don't believe that your... I think your, your... I don't believe that your evidence stacks up. OK. And I think, and I think that, well, actually, if you look at... Could we just... Pause, please, Mr. Weatherby, Mr. Johnson. I'm sorry. I know that emotions are running high, but I have to ask those in the public gallery to keep quiet, whatever their emotions. The thing is that this was a phrase in common uh, parlance at the time, and, Patrick, and, and, and remains so. Sir Patrick Valence's diary is 273901, page 92. Yes. Actually, having a discussion, a meeting with the PM about quote letting it rip. Page. But I don't wish to be. No. Um, I'm just going to put repet repetitive. Uh, but this I'm, is exactly what you'd expect me to be talking about at, the, at this stage. Page two four five. This is June twenty tw June twenty twenty. I'm going to show you all the ones, Mr. Johnson. Out of fairness, the Prime Minister meeting begins to argue for letting it rip, saying yes, there will be more casualties, but so be it. They've had a good innings. Six oh eight. 
we should let it rip a bit. 150, he's obsessed with older people accepting their fate, that in light of your views secretly held about people dying having reached their time anyway, that you were obliged to reject the advice of your advisers that there be a circuit breaker. No. That there be no national lockdown until the no. last possible moment. No. And that you this would try right. a tier system. No. No. Uh, no. So the implication of, uh, the, or the implication that you're, you're trying to draw from those conversations is uh, completely wrong. And my position was that we had to save human life at all ages.